to another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vincent, and I'm an Army veteran. And today we're going to talk about the women veteran programs here in Texas. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can find more content only on here on YouTube. Please comment in the comment section below and ask any veteran-related questions you have or content you would love for me to create for veterans. And if you're a veteran and would love to share your story or resource for veterans and non-veterans who would love to share your resources, please feel free to contact me ASAP so that we can schedule a meeting. So the Women Veteran Program refers to initiative and support service specifically designed to address the unique needs and challenges faced by women who served in the military. These programs aim to provide comprehensive assistance and resources to women veterans in areas such as healthcare, employment, education, housing, and mental health. The Women Veteran Program recognizes that women veterans have distinct experiences and requirements compared to their male counterparts. It seeks to ensure equitable access to health care services, address gender-specific health care needs, promote employment opportunities, facilitate the transition from military to civilian life, and support the overall well-being of women who served in the armed forces. These programs are typically implemented by government agencies, nonprofit organizations, and veteran service organizations to provide specific, uh, specialized support and advocates for women veterans. The specific services and resources offered can vary depending on the location and organization implementing the programs. If you're a woman veteran seeking assistance or more information about women veteran programs, I recommend you reach out to your local veteran organization, veteran affair departments, or visit the official government websites dedicated to veterans affair for guidance and available resources in your specific area. Because today I'm going over those benefits in the state of Texas for our women veterans. The reason why I wanted to do this video for my female counterparts out there is because I'm married to a veteran. My wife is a disabled U.S. Army veteran. Me and her serve together. and we talk about a lot and a lot of times when me and her sit down and we have a lot of conversations, one of the things that we talk about the most is some of the hardships that women face while being in the military. While being in the military, from a male perspective, I had a sister that wanted to be in the military. And when she asked me, I told her no. The reason why I told her no was because I seen some of the challenges that some women, not all, face trying to be in the military. And some of those challenges that came along with their service was in order for some to get promoted, they had to do some extra things that I'm going to be honest to you, I wouldn't want my daughter to have to experience and go through. And I understand now times has changed. And a lot of the situations that we faced it during our time in the military is a whole lot different than what it was during, you know, this time. But it still doesn't take away from the fact that there are things that many women who serve in the armed forces, um, it's, it's not to say that they didn't have to deal nothing. It's, it's something that I think a lot more men should, you know, come on forward and talk about. Because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that may have talked about it or, t or that is currently talking about it. But there's a lot of different um, scenarios and situations that I've seen, you know, women um, put in in order for them to advance their career in the military. And some of these things that they had to do, um, a lot of it is things that, you know, I can't specifically speak on because I wasn't in these scenarios and I don't want to be a third party information um carrier. But what I will say is, um, you know, I would love to hear, you know, stories of women who overcame some of these challenges and, you know, hear them talk about how the Lord has helped them overcome 
and how they made it through, you know, some of these difficult situations that they may have been put in. You know, um, one of the things that I've always heard people ask questions about is, do you believe that women should, you know, be deployed with men downrange? What I will say to that is, I don't believe that there's nothing that a woman can't do, but I don't think that there's things that a woman should do. So what I want to do is I want to take you through the Texas Veterans Commission, Women Veterans Section, and show you how to use this actual website as a woman veteran so that you can gain access to the different benefits and programs that they have out there for you. And one thing I want you to understand and know before I get into it is no, I'm not affiliated with any of these organizations, nor do I represent a stand in on the behalf of any of these organizations, but I'm a veteran who's married to a female veteran. And I just really want to make sure that I get this information out there to you who may not be from the state of Texas and don't know where to go for help. As you can see on the screen, Dr. Krista Matthews is the director of the Women Veteran Program. And here you can see their mission states that their mission is to ensure that women veterans of Texas have equitable access to federal and state veteran benefits and services. The Texas Veterans Women Veteran Program serves to educate and inform women veterans of their benefits and services and advocate on their behalf by one, creating public awareness, two, recognizing and honoring women veterans, and three, identifying needs and making legislative recommendations. They say that they are committed to improving the lives of women veterans and their family. One of the cool things that I like about this site is you can um scroll down right here and you can view all of the women events that are going on each month on their calendar. And as you can see, when you click and you um when you click on and highlight specific events on specific days, you can actually see what those events are all about. You can see the time, you can see the location, and you can join these events. And I think it's beneficial for, you know, you women veterans out there. These are things that you can take advantage of. You have a hard time connecting and finding other women veterans to connect with. They made it easy for you by putting this information out here. I know in the next, in the North Texas area, we don't have an actual um, building or actual veteran organization within our local area, but they do have them in Dallas and other various areas where you can reach out and get the assistance that you need. And it says, um, so right here, I'm going to go through the frequent ask questions. Who does the Women Veteran Program serve? It says via the Texas government code. The Women Veteran Program serve women veterans. And what services do the Women Veteran Programs provide? The Women Veteran Program meets the women veteran where she is. Um, the services are case by case. Additionally, the Women Veteran Program provides advocacy, public awareness, as well as honor recognition and educational events. Does the Women Veterans Program collaborate with other organizations? Yes, the Women Veterans Program frequently collaborates with nonprofits, veterans service organizations, VSOs, state and federal organizations to educate and serve women veterans. Does the Women Veterans Program provide financial assistance? The Women Veterans Program does not provide financial assistance. However, you may be eligible to receive an assistant grant from one of the TVC funding for veterans assistance grantees. Find grant funding services here. You click on this link and they take you straight to where you need to go. They say, how do I get in contact with the Women Veterans Program? You can contact us by filling out a TVC contact form, select Women Veterans Program, and a representative will reach out to you soon. Find the veteran, I mean, a TVC 
contact form here and you just click on the form. Again, I'm going to put a lot of these things in the description so that it be readily available for you. And then the question you may ask is how much do you charge for your services? All women veteran program services are for free. So if you need assistance, please get in contact with the women's veteran programs that are listed here on the TVC website. The Texas Veterans Commission is a good place to go if you have any questions, if you have any, you know, um, situation where you may not know where to go, who to go to, or you're seeking out information, trying to figure out how do you get enrolled into this and how you go about doing that, you can actually sign up on there and get all of the help that you need because Texas is one of those cool states that makes things readily available to veterans. And I think that's a good thing, especially when they tailor specific things for our women veterans because again there are a lot of different things that men would never understand nor have we been through and it's good that they're you know recognizing women veterans and making sure that you know our sisters are being taken care of and i'm all in support for that because again i'm married to a woman veteran and also i have sisters that i serve with in the lord that are women veterans. So I believe that a lot of these programs are beneficial and necessary for women veterans because they're people too, and they should be recognized. They should be assisted and, you know, help should be provided for them to ensure that, you know, their needs are taken care of because I don't believe in anybody being left behind and not being taken care of. So it's a blessing that they had these programs out here. And again, as I always say, man, if you need any assistance, if you need any more information, please in the description, in the description box, put any comments, questions, um, any content you would like for me to research, find out answers to put on here on Vet Talk. I'm willing to do that because, again, Vet Talk is all about us, those who serve. And it's a platform that allows family members to hear what we have going on to hear about these programs and different things. Because sometimes I've heard people make comments that veterans have a hard time sometimes reading, especially a lot of us fellas. We have a hard time reading and sitting down reading this information, not because we're incompetent and can't read. But sometimes it's just a frustrating thing to have to sit there and read all that information just to find out that it doesn't apply to you. So I try to make sure that I tailor the information to ensure that you don't have to go through all of that and you just can get to the meat of what you're trying to get help with. And, you know, you just get the direct information that you need. So as always, this has been another episode with your boy, Brother Vince, Vet Talk. Good people, Vet Talk out.